Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with a masculine themed card using several of the newer Honey Bee stamps release. Starting off with the Car Show stamp set. And I pulled my favorite car from the set. <laughs> and I am stamping it onto, this is Tonic Nouveau's Ultra Smooth White Cardstock. I am stamping it using the Nouveau uh, Hybrid Black Shadow Ink. I always recommend, regardless of what coloring medium you're using, um, the combos of paper, ink, and coloring medium definitely matter. And I've been experimenting more and more with the Tonic Nouveau Creative Pens, like their brand of alcohol markers. And so far I'm finding they work best on the Tonic Nouveau cardstock with the Nouveau ink. Like, obviously, they're meant to work together. So that's what I did. I stamped the car and then I am using the Nouveau Creative Pens to color it in. And I was inspired by the pattern paper. There's like that aqua sort of color in the Great Outdoors pack, which I'll get to a little later in the video. And looking at my markers of which, of course I have, you know, Copics and everything else, but these tonic ones, the color combo for the aquamarine set, I was like, that's perfect. So that's kind of sealed the deal for me. So I'm doing my typical working darkest to lightest because for me, that's just the easiest way to go. Um, I did a little bit of creative shading and, you know, to, to create that bit of like reflection because it's a car, but at the same time, I'm nowhere near, you know, there's some amazing artists on the Honeybee team that do phenomenal coloring. I just kind of sit back and just like jaw drop, but this is, this is about as, you know, advanced as I go. <laughs> So I created a little bit of, you know, that really like stark highlight there on the side and then um, kept the stripes, you know, the racing stripes. I kept them white. And then after I did this, though, I was like, oh, I want to make a purple car and then ooh, a pink one, you know, <laughs> that's the fun thing with like images like this. It's like, yes, they're great for masking cards, but you can totally do them like all out girly, you know, anything you want. Why not? Like a rainbow one. Ooh, so many ideas. So I kept the coloring fairly simple. I did the aqua colors for the actual body of the car, the white racing stripes, added some grays to the wheel wells and to the bumpers, you know, for the silver. And then after I was done coloring, I die cut this with the coordinating car show wafer dies, just taped this into place and then ran this through my die cut machine. So it was die cut. And then after die cutting it, I, I added some glitter because especially with older cars, there's something with that like glitter finish on vehicles that it's like, oh so pretty when the light catches it so anyway i took my clear glitter gloss uh aqua shimmer pen and painted it on as always when i'm doing it on camera like this right now it looks like nothing like it literally looks like i'm not doing anything but even when i'm using it a lot of times it you can't really see it but then you got to kind of tilt it in the light and then i can see and that's what i'm doing here is i'm just literally holding it up so i can see any of these spots that i missed and then when I get that all good and coated, I'll turn my flashlight on and I'll also show at the end of the video um, just how sparkly this is. And that's one of the reasons why I like the Aqua Shimmer pen so much is it's not in your face glitter, you know? I, I feel like I can totally get away with it on masculine cards and for things like this because it's not like glitter bling, yay, you know, loose glitter everywhere. It's just, it gives it that little extra something when it hits the, when the light hits it, but it's not totally nuts. So I turned the flashlight on my phone so I can kind of show that glitter because it's just so pretty. Love. So after I was in that, I just kind of set the side. It takes a minute or so to dry, not very long. And then for the pattern paper, Honeybee has released several pattern paper packs recently, which I am just trying really hard not to hoard because I'm, I love pattern paper. <laughs> I like to hoard it. But I use, this is the Great Outdoors 6x6 pack and I really like the colors, the patterns, everything. So I chose three from the pack and I'm just trimming them down with my paper trimmer. This, this, this really brought back like cards I used to make kind of way back when I first started my YouTube channel, etc. You know, layering of the pattern papers like this to me, it feels very old school. I quite enjoyed this. So I trimmed down three different patterns from the pack. The main like kind of panel I trimmed a slightly smaller than an A2 card front and then I just trimmed down two more pieces to kind of add and you know build up my scene and then for my sentiments I'm using the you are a classic stamp set 
and I went through my whole stash of cardstock and found an orange that was very close to this pattern paper. So that's what I used. And I'm using several sentiments. That's also something I don't do very often. And I love it when I see it on other people's cards when they use like multiple sentiments on the front of their cards. Usually I have, you know, your basic sentiment on the front and then I'll finish off the inside. But because this set has the coordinating dies, which again, I love, I talked about this in when I did a release and review video when we release all the masculine stamps and whatnot. And I, there's something about having coordinating dies for sentiments that I just, I really like. I don't know what it is, but I just find that I want to use them more. I like having them die cut rather than just stamping them and like cutting them into strips like I've done a million times or stamping them onto a card front. I really like being able to stamp them and die cut them. So I stamped multiple sentiments from that set onto this cardstock with clear embossing ink, coated them all with detail white embossing powder, melted all of them with the heat tool, and then lined up all the coordinating dies. This set has a die for every single sentiment, and there's also a little, couple little images in the set too that have coordinating dies, which I just love. So lined up all these dies over the sentiments, just taped them into place with washi tape, and then I can run these through my die cut machine, and everything's all going to be all nice and die cut, so I don't have to worry about stamping straight, I don't have to worry about lining anything up, etc., other than just lining up the dies, which is easy. So got everything taped into place and then I'm going to run these through my die cut machine as well. Just making sure I've got them taped down generally on both sides because more often than not I'm not paying attention when I run things through my die cut machine and then everything shifts and then things end up die cut wonky. So got those all die cut and now I can start actually assembling my card. So I started to adhere my card front together and then I like stopped myself because I wanted to finish the inside before I started hearing everything to the outside. But I started adhering the pattern papers together just using my little tape runner here and I adhered the first layer and this is when I realized it's like no I want to finish the inside first before I get anywhere else. So another reason why I love pattern paper so much especially like collection like like six by six collections like this is so often it makes me think of color combos and colors that I don't use very often. So I found a color of oxide ink in my sash that kind of went with the aqua color and I normally wouldn't even think of this because this is evergreen bow um, oxide ink and I to me you know, that's more of a Christmas color it's more like I would think more like almost like a pine needle color but it's not it's more for an aqua sort of green it's perfect so I stamped the car with that ink on the inside of the card that'll take a couple minutes to dry. And then I adhered the remaining sentiments that I had heat embossed and die cut. So it says you're not that old, you're vintage. <laughs> I love penny sentiments, play on words, all that fun stuff. So adhered those to the inside of the card. Gave it a couple minutes to dry so that the oxide ink doesn't smear or anything like that. And now I can start assembling the card front and adhere that to the outside. So I'm going to adhere the pattern paper panel again, just using my little tape runner and then um, assemble all the other pieces of the card on top of this. So just keep, I'm just adhere almost everything just using my tape runner. Again, this kind of brought back memories. I'm like, I remember doing all these cards, you know, just, just pattern paper, coordinating embellishments, etc. So got the pattern paper here. The car, I'm gonna pop up with foam tape since it's the focus. I want that popped up, give it some dimension. So I'll put some foam tape on the back of that and then I can pop that into place. And then I'm going to adhere all of the sentiments with my little tape runner. Once I got those adhered, I remembered, I also remembered that Honeybee did enamel dots in packs to match. And I didn't use the matching pack for this one. I couldn't find it. It was hiding behind something like a stamp set or something. But the Bee's Knees enamel dot pack has colors that work with these patterns as well. So I got everything adhered and then I'm just going to adhere some coordinating enamel dots to finish off this card. And that's going to be it. I don't know. It just feels, I was like, I feel like I need to add more, do more, you know, stamp more. And I was like, wait, uh, the pattern paper took care of all of it. So yeah, huge plug for the Honeybee pattern paper box. This is one of four that they released. I've used the rainbow one that I absolutely love. And there'll be more inspiration coming soon from design team members and whatnot using these pattern papers because they're just, they're so much fun. So got my enamel dots into place and that finished off the card. So I will show the, you know, glitter on this card again with the flashlight on my phone, just so you guys can see. You can kind of see like as it catches the light, you know, it's got that like shimmer, but then when like a flashlight really hits it or natural light really hits it, you get that glitter. 
So that's my card for today. As always, there'll be a link below the video to the blog post. I'll have a supply list with links to everything. You can check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.